Hello. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Um, thank you very much to the Economic Times for um, uh, hosting this uh, an important event, the Supply Chain Summit, uh, in these very critical times. Uh, I represent Critical Log, and I'm going to talk about the resilient growth that we have seen, Critical Log as an organization, and what are some of the few success stories that Critical Log has got across industries. Well, this particular slide, if you look at it, how the recession has been there uh, globally, if you look at the advanced economies, the emerging market and the world, in 2008, nine by the Lehman Brothers collapsing, we had a crisis. And again, 12 years later, 11 years later, we had a similar crisis. However, we do see, the IMF does see green shoots coming up in 21, 22 and moving into 22, 23. And we do see, do see that rebound happening. What are the various sectors that, that uh, in a short to medium term have got really impacted uh, positively and negatively? You see the potential winners are the medical sector definitely uh, in terms of the pharmaceuticals, the cold chains, uh, uh, the clinical trial products, right up to e-com, the information technology, and the worst has been the tourism. If you look at it on the left-hand side, the potential losers. Aviation and maritime sector has also been pretty bad. So the impact on the sectors have been significant. And it has been so significant that some of the industries have actually started closing down. Critical lot works across each of these industries. And we know how the industries have been faring and what are the various pulse of the market. Which drives on to my next slide, which actually talks about major trends which are driving the supply chain today in the post-pandemic or during the pandemic scenario. Every customer that we talk across industries talk about sustainable competitive advantage. Sustainable competitive advantage in terms of cost, in terms of efficiency, in terms of new initiatives, increased use of technology to automate supply chains. Customers want visibility. They want everything to be known from point A to point B. Not that visibility was not there, but they need it increasingly more so even now. Customized end-to-end -end supply chain is what the customers need. We need to customize from a short-term perspective, yes. We need to adjust to the customer's requirements, a set of requirements that the customer would come across. And we need to sit across and do that for what the customer needs. And that's what Critical Log has been doing. That leads to the next point in terms of industry and supply chain expertise. What is consultative engagement? Listen to the customer, understand their problem, develop a customized solution. There is no one fixed template across even within a particular industry in this uncertain scenario. So supply chain has become a protagonist. Earlier supply chain used to be at back doors and it was considered as one of the another functions. Today, it is supply chain who is in the forefront. So it's become a protagonist. What has Critical Log done? COVID-19 pandemic is an opportunity to disrupt logistics. Well, there have been negative stories, but there are positive stories as well. And I will talk about the positive stories. How has Critical Log survived against uncertainty? We built immunity. We built immunity against unpredictability. Critical Log built immunity against business growth in terms of constant talking with the customers, understanding them, and re-evaluating solutions and situations over a period of time, which my fellow co-panelists over a, over the ne during the course of the day have spoken about. Immunity for health, health of employees and health of various stakeholders with whom which work. There are several of the stakeholders who with work, whether it is government, whether it is industry stakeholders, the ecosystem, everybody. Immunity for emotional well-being. Critical Log was perhaps one of the many organizations, very, very few organizations who have not laid off a single people. None of them were laid off. In fact, they were given every possible benefits that were needed because we are in the supply chain industry and we have our employees out there on the field picking and delivering and producing the supply chain solutions that we are known for. So we have driven emotional well-being. 
and we have got a courageous growth. If you look at the growth pattern, and then these are in percentage terms, we expect a 176% growth, and these are estimates, hoping that COVID uh, third wave will not disrupt it again, and hoping green shoots of revival. We look at 176% growth by the end of the financial year. Because we have addressed the softer aspects what the customer needs, the harder aspects what the customer needs, the softer aspects what the employees needs and the ecosystem needs. I'll talk about a few success stories, how Critical Log has helped. Fight against COVID-19 and Critical Log has been in the forefront. We have delivered over 27 million COVID-19 RT-PCR kits for governments and for the private sector. And this figure continues, it's just till date. We have provided humanitarian aid to neighboring countries on behalf of government of India and the other OEMs who we work with. We have moved Sputnik V. The Sputnik V vaccines from Moscow into India is what we have moved and we will continue to do that. We have moved thousands and thousands of ventilators within a transit time of 24 hours, saving lives. And that is what Critical Log has done, fight against COVID-19. And we continue to do, as I said. Other parts of the critical healthcare sector, in addition to the COVID-19, we have set up spare part logistics, critical spare part logistics for super speciality hospitals which need critical medical equipment. Critical Log has delivered those. Radioactive cargo, which needs for equipment, which are needed for equipment for quaternary care hospitals is also done by Critical Log. We, we have moved pediatric vaccines. Children are born. Pediatric vaccine movement cannot stop. We have done those movements. Temperature control logistics, we are one of the pioneers. We are a GDP certified organization when we are pioneers in that. Moving on to the technology sector, just-in-time solutions for banking servers. Next time when you receive an SMS which says the banking server is down, just remember one thing, it is Critical Log who is working 24 by 7, 365 days to ensure the digital banking happens. Please remember Critical Log during that time. Telecom sector, end-to-end -end supply chain transformation for a global telecom player is what we have done during this difficult period of time when the banking needed to be up. Consumer electronics, people working from home needed consumer electronics. We ensured an innovative packaging solution for high value consumer electronics movements. And needless to say, all kids are working, uh, are, are, are having an online education based out of home. So we have been pioneers in movement of education technology during this time. Capital goods sector, well, automotive has been, has been impacted, but definitely as we see green shoots of revival, we have been partnering and developing supply chain solutions for several OEMs to ensure compliance of Bharat stage six emission norms. Engineering sector, construction sector has started opening up and we are developing, we are sending with the predictive modeling. Critical Log has got an in-house set of IT team. And that is where we have developed a predictive analytic modeling to deliver to the remotest parts of the country, critical engineering spare parts. In renewable energy sector, of course, we do an in-crop science. We continue to do. In the interest of time, I'll just move ahead. Luxury sector. The retail sector has been, as, as some of my uh, uh, fellow panelists and, and, and colleagues have mentioned earlier, Premium luxury sector is something that has seen a huge demand, upsurge demand in this in the last 15 months. We have delivered this precious and valuable cargo right at the doorstep at contactless deliveries. Premium e-com, we are in the e-com domain. We don't do normal e-com. We, we do only premium e-com. And Critical Log has developed automated logistic solutions for those e-com products. Premium retail, it's a unique amalgamation of B2B and a B2C model that we have developed for several of our customers. 
not only we do the OEM to direct end to end to the customer movement and unique amalgamation with perhaps one of the industries or very few industries do this today. Consumer goods in a safe and secure transportation, we have done this and we have delivered this. Critical log, as I said, has been at the forefront, whether it is in terms of healthcare, whether it is in terms of technology, whether it is in terms of retail, whether it is in terms of capital goods, we work across centers, across industries, and we understand what the challenges are. We understand where the issues are. We understand what the customers need and develop such customized solutions for each of our customers with the technology, with the technology solutions. We are a responsible organization in green logistics. We adhere to sustainable development goals of United Nations. We have introduced electric vehicles in our portfolio of fleet that we have across the country, thereby adhering to government of India's norm of inducting electric vehicles and also along with maintaining United Nations sustainable development norms. In the interest of time, I would say that Critical Log is disrupting the B2B logistics and the B2C logistics. And when I say these logistics, these are critical logistics, pandemic or no pandemic, Critical Log was always ready for black swan events. Critical Log always has forecasted that there are changes that come in and we will adhere to those changes together working with the ecosystem in place. With the government, with our customers, with our employees, we shall also win this war against COVID-19. I think thank you so much. That's the presentation on behalf of Critical Log. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Mr. Das. Uh, in fact, uh, as I say that uh, uncertainty is the only certainty of uh, way forward and critical loggers definitely embrace themselves in order to come up with key innovations and initiatives across different sectors. So thank you so much for sharing that presentation with all of us. Thank you once again. Thank you, Kavya. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, as we take these pioneering thoughts with us forward, let's now move forward towards our next session as well. In fact, uh, our next session is a fireside chat. And this time, the feisty topic that we will be focusing on is to do with supply chain risk in the context of a global economy. We have with us uh, Prashant, uh, my apologies, Prasad Deshpande, Senior Vice President and Global Head Supply Chain Management. Central Engineering and EHS, Biocor, Radha Mohan Gupta, Regional Procurement Director, South Asia, Rekhid Ben Kaiser, uh, who will be a part of the chat and spearheading this fireside chat for all of us we have with us, Shastri Subramanya, Partner Technology Consulting, PwC India. So let's have all the three speakers joining us in just a couple of seconds. Uh, you know the drill. Uh, we'll have uh, them join us in just a few minutes and then we'll get the session started. It's a fireside chat. So let's look forward to another interesting discussion over here.